Okay, in this video, I'd like to show everyone more on how Ed Lead Scaldon's flywheel at Coral Castle is operating. Uh, today, we're going to get into how this thing is dealing with resonance and frequency. Um, let's get started. Okay. Like I stated before previously, everything is working off of threes. There's no dualities in nature. Everything is triplicate or three, six, nine. This is what the triangle is showing you. And this is from Ken Wheeler. He says that the Pythagorean one to one to five triangle is their secret. It's the structure to water. Okay. And... Here you have your one hydrogen, one hydrogen, and then you have your one oxygen. Um, what Ed's doing, he's getting at the subatomic level of everything. Because you have this thing called um, dielectric polarization orientation. And what it's talking about is this... 104.45 or 105 degree angle in relationship to this 95 195 here it causes this right angle here uh, and is basically re representing the bond um, between the hydrogen and the oxygen molecules so he's going to the subatomic level and what he's basically doing is He's trying to do this. He's trying to get all these points here in resonance or in vibration so that they're all a match. It's all about tuning so that they all match frequency. Okay, and it works like this. It's called synergy. Okay, when you have one and one, Two conditions always produce a third. Okay. So this is how the whole thing is working. When you have two conditions, it's always producing a third. This is called synergy. Okay. And you're just trying to... You're trying to basically... In resonant frequency and... Basically in an uh, RF, it's basically the same thing. Radio frequency is that you're trying to tune it so that everything is on the same exact point, okay? It's just like you would take an object and a coil and then the flywheel, and you're trying to match everything to be the same. Okay, so keep that in mind through this whole thing. What Ed's doing with his wheel and with the concrete, okay, it's all about this whole dielectric deal. The dielectric is an insulator. Concrete or stone is an excellent insulator. It's just like ceramic. On the chart, ceramics, K dielectric value is 1200. So stone or concrete also has its own resonant frequency. Okay, here I'm showing this antenna because this is how everything's operating. And this is how Tesla's monopolar system is operating too. It's dealing with the ground and the ionosphere. As above, so below. Positive, negative, neutral. So it's all dealing with the same exact thing. Um... And it's, based, it's dealing with orgone too. My orgone box functions exactly the same way. What you're doing when you have your concrete and you're, you've encased your magnets in your concrete, what you're doing, you're setting up this whole dielectric capacitor deal to where you have a magnet concrete, magnet concrete, magnet concrete. You're setting up the same thing with capacitor plates where you have two capacitor plates of a dissimilar material. You have a positive and a negative, and in between you have that neutral. So that's how everything's working. Everything is triplicate. There's no dualities in nature. 
And it's just what, you know, it's the same thing uh, with the whole consciousness, okay, and your DNA. It's your, it's this antenna. Okay, here's, here's what Dollar says uh, about this whole deal. This is, comes from Eric Dollard's Secret Teachings on YouTube. Okay, he says, The opposite polarity of magnetism is dielectricity. Between the poles of a magnet, there's induction. The physicists have pulled dielectricity out of the textbooks. The Tesla system is not electromagnetic. It's dielectric. The Earth has a magnetic field and a dielectric field at a right angle to that. There's where the whole right angle deal is coming in. This causes dielectric conduction between the ionosphere and the ground. Okay. Right on, Eric. This is how it's working. And like I said, Ed's wheel is working and producing the um, magnetodielectricity the same as the Earth is producing its magnetodielectricity. Okay, the Earth is spinning through the ether. The Earth is a giant magnet because it has its iron core at its center. Okay, at its center is where it's storing all its dielectricity. Instead of in the ignition system of the Model T. Okay. So at the center of the Earth, there's zero G. There's zero resistance. It's a zero point. So that's why the Earth makes its magnetosphere. Um, it's all dealing with the same deal. It's all working just like this. It's all about storing the charge and then releasing the dielectric charge. So we'll continue here. More from Dollard. Okay. Magnetodielectric electricity is the opposite of electromagnetism. Um, in a Dollard interview with Borderland Research, he says that Tesla was using what would be called true single phase electricity or monopolar electricity. This is the key to his transmission of electricity and mechanical energy to convert it to a single phase form. Monopolar electricity is anti-electromagnetic. It's doing the same thing as taking my uh, driver magnet or my wheel against the other driver magnet. You're taking two and putting them against each other. It's okay, so... What it's doing, okay, monopolar electricity is anti-electromagnetism. He says, Philo Farnsworth built a multi-packer tube, a secondary emission negative resistance tube. When hooked to a Tesla coil, it exhibits electrical oscillations, probably the world's only real free energy device that anyone uh, ever demonstrated that can be reproduced. Okay, it's producing those cosmic oscillations, just like um, the wheel is doing. It's doing the same exact thing. Um, it's doing that pulse. It's, it's pulsing the ether, okay? And this is what orgone could be called, okay? So here we go. The Earth is the best conducting medium we've got. The devices are one conductor electrical generators. Just connect one terminal to the common conducting medium and all the other terminal devices will receive the energy. There's no pair of wires or waveguides to bound the energy. These are called unbound waves. Tesla's magnifying transmitter, mag <coughs> excuse me, magnifying transmitter was a converter which converts electromagnetic energy into what is called magnetodielectric energy. The dielectric side of electricity is the side that re represents the faster than light phenomenon. Okay, Wilhelm Reich found that the orgone and the dielectric field are basically one and the same. 
if the dielectric field has the proper pulsations, you could almost call it orgone. So this is how my orgone box is working. And this is the reason Ed used the concrete in his wheel. Because of this dielectric capacitor effect. Okay, more from Dollar. A dielectric is an insulating material that has to be organic, concrete. Okay, evidence of a dielectric field to orgone is the cosmic superimposition effect. Is where you take a low pressure gas and place it into two superimposed dielectric fields. You get spiral formations. Okay, he was doing this when he was a kid by taking these big um, light bulbs and just blasting them. See, he was getting this effect. Um, right, okay, the right book, Super, Co Super Cosmic Imposition. Um, these formations appear as spheres, galaxies, and other cosmic forms. The high voltage terminal of a Tesla transmitter puts out a dielectric current. Okay, a current of many amps flowing through free space without any electrons. This is a true electrical current. This is a true electrical current. This is the case of the Tesla coil. You can draw a spark from an insulator and it produces the golden ratio discharge. Um, all discharges tend to form the phi ratio pattern. Okay, so it's everything's working off the Fibonacci, the 1.618. So I hope this uh, answers everybody's question as to what the concrete is doing in the wheel. In my next video, we're gonna go further down the line on how Ed's got this whole thing daisy chained together. Uh, it's going to get real interesting, so stay with me. Thanks.